nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Are you ready? Welcome to Hardway Wrestling. It is well. It's our it is our Christmas special, boys. Merry Christmas. How are you guys doing? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. How's everybody doing? Hey, I didn't tell you guys beforehand. Really, really funny story. Speaking of Christmas, uh, I was at work the other day. I was talking to a couple of uh, Walmart associates and a couple of their favorite. Uh, regular customers that come in and this one lady literally looked at me like i walked up she looks at me and the first thing out of her mouth is damn you're fat you look like santa claus (laughs) you yes literally right to my face she's like like damn you fat you look like santa claus oh i did not nail that down for a date (laughs) <laughs> You're a little short on the beard. Yeah, a little short on the beard, but yeah, yeah. a lot of short on the beard. <laughs> were you wearing that red? Were you wearing that shuttlecock hat that you had? Is that what? Yeah, I was. I was <laughs> a cock hat, yo. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, uh, Ricky, you ready for Christmas? About as ready as I'm gonna be, man. Yeah, about as ready. Okay. Uh. Do me a favor, check your settings before we get started here. Check your settings and make sure that your microphone is set for your headphones and not for your cam. Shit. How'd yeah, give me that last time. Yeah, how'd you do that last time? Brian Hardy's in the building today. It has well, been a long it has been too long, Brian Hardy. Since you yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, man, how have you been? We have missed you. It's good to see you guys, man. Yeah, it's been a bit. I'm excited to be here today. Um, I hear that this episode is going to be better than the Pee Wee Herman's Christmas special, than ah! He-Man and she Christmas <laughs> special, and that's why I had to be here. Whoa, whoa. Did you, did you just put, up, put us up against He-Man and she Yeah, the Christmas special. Can you hear me now? I mean, I saw it. I you mean, got a lot to live up to now. Yeah. Go ahead, Ricky. Can you hear me? Oh, that's much better. Okay. Yeah, somehow it switched back to uh, yeah, what I had before that. <laughs> All right. Sound back like in business. Were, sound like you were uh, <laughs> hiding in your closet talking to us, man. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, uh, what, so what is our uh, – so you, all, you, you guys have kids. Scotty, you don't have kids. You, you're yep. your own kid, right? You buy yourself your own toys. What is yep. – what? Give me, give me your – give me the big Christmas gift this year that you're going to buy your kids, Ricky. Uh, kid, my, kid. my kid is – very simple. He is playing Roblox on my PC all the time. He wants his Robux gift cards so he can um, buy shit on on the game, and usually uh, just points for his Nintendo Switch account. Okay, right on. Do you? He doesn't play with toys. He he just he he watches YouTubers and gamers, and he okay. plays games. Well, that's, that's it. That's typical children these days. Brian Hardy, yeah. what is the big gift? Now you got thirty-seven Hardy. I was gonna say, it's a bazillion kids, man. I can't do it. Santa Claus has to do it for them. Um, so how many my, Christmas trees do you need to get all them presents under there? We have six in the house. Oh my God, Jesus! Yeah. Six Christmas trees. Um, but but we pretty much uh, when Santa, you know, when Santa comes down our chimney, he he puts all of the gifts uh, under two trees. So okay. and kind of wraps them around the living room. They're all over the couches and the floors and that kind of stuff. So even though we have six trees throughout the house, we only use two of them designated for Christmas morning. So I, yeah. I know it's been a while since you've been on here. Uh, we had uh, your uh, one of your offsprings, uh, <laughs> probably the smarter of the Hardys, right? He's probably the, yes. probably the smartest Hardy I've ever dealt with. Yes. <laughs> People, people call me a freak when it comes to wrestling uh, history, and I am a history buff, but that kid could probably clear me under the table sometimes. Owen was, was like... He was answering all of her questions on the chat, and I was like, get this boy on here. Get yeah, him on the, the, the stuff that was coming out... Oh, yeah, I believe that they were at uh, uh, XPW Pro last week. Uh, they were <laughs> third match. They were third match, 10-minute 10 minute, 10 minute time limit, one fall. Like He was like, I was like, Jesus, you're a nice it's, little deep time. 
smart kid and like i mean even if you go back further he'll be like oh yeah well bruno san martino defeated ivan koloff yada yada or vice versa or this or that back at the garden and yet and it's like it's freaking ridiculous uh kid has no life his whole life is wrestling like me which is fine um so for owen for christmas he's uh he's like headphones and action figures and all this kind of stuff. A lot of the girls are uh, makeup and jewelry and, you know, Barbies and whatever else. I mean, a lot of them are getting older. So as they get older, it gets more expensive. It gets more tedious. And, um, yeah, uh, we have made a couple trips to the North Pole uh, in the last couple of weeks. Did some talking to Santa at the mall and that kind of stuff. And I think he'll be bringing plenty of stuff here for these kids. So, so now, do your, do your kids still – they do? Yeah. All of them? Yep. That is awesome. Yeah, man. The, the magic is alive in the Hardy house. That is for sure. So cool. Yeah. Well, I, I'm going to tell you that uh, I think Ricky told Owen last week that he wasn't, it wasn't real, but whatever. I mean, we're not going to get it. <laughs> yeah. so, so Scotty, you don't have any kids. You, you buy yourself Christmas. Cause what do you do? I, I see you spent your, you just spent $300 on yourself uh, for, for part of your, your heating system. Is that a yeah. Christmas gift or? <laughs> That that's my that's my Christmas gift to myself this year. It's heat, hopefully. I mean, and it it hasn't even happened yet. Like I, I'm still waiting on the part. Oh, to show. not Christmas! What the hell? <laughs> you you got to wait to to uh, uh, to uh, Santa heater to come down that that chimney. Yeah, exactly. But no, uh, like at some point, my I I would say the uh, being the single guy and and the yeah the. Uh, the Christmas gift wish list, if I, you know, for me would be uh, an Attitude Era winged eagle belt. If I, if Santa could get me that, I would be the the inner. I should say the Intercontinental wing uh, Attitude Era belt. I should say gotcha. uh, that's my that's my next big thing that I kind of want, and you know, it, it may end up. It may end up waiting till June till my birthday, so it might be like Christmas birthday combined. But you know, that that seems to be my next big thing that I kind of want to try to find and right get. On. Right so, on, right on. Yep. Well, all my all my kids are grown. I mean, I still buy them gifts. I actually most of the time I just give them gift cards. My son just hit me up the other day. He needed a new mic uh, because he does game streaming and that kind of stuff. And when he's cussing other kids, they can't hear him. So he, he's got to have like the professional microphone. So, uh, so PS five or, or, or steam or whatever can hear every word he says right before they ban his account. So yeah, he's got to have all the nice, all the nice, all the nice equipment. So, um, but yeah, no, you know, uh, uh, Christmas is Christmas. I've never been a big Christmas person. I, I I've had a lot of, people in my life ruined christmas for me i never really saw the whole thing with christmas um i I like to i like to treat people like it's christmas all year long right if i i buy stuff for people all year long just because right and right right you're the same way so uh and then when christmas times come then i don't feel like i should buy anybody anything does that sound horrible (laughs) i feel feel like the pressure's like 10 times worse because I buy yeah. it throughout the year for people. And then when I buy it at Christmas time, I'm like, oh, it gets like even worse because I'm like, I have to up the ante because I'm so used to normally living that lifestyle that when Christmas rolls around, I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah no, I, I was like, and then you got to give, then you got to let the fat guy take all the, all, all the, all the glory out of buying stuff because Santa <laughs> called, right? So you never hear this shit out of the Easter bunny. <laughs> he's just going around spreading diabetes everybody in my house is like humongous halloween people and i'm like the huge christmas person okay so. yeah see that i'm a, i'm a, am a huge uh jonathan cross person so that's the only holiday i need yeah uh, my girlfriend is a huge uh halloween person uh actually if I, you get downstairs right our our christmas tree is black and it's is got it? our, yeah we don't see color in this house but it's black and it's our, it's got orange and black uh, Halloween balls, and it's got like it's got some a Christmas ornament or two, but it's more like Jack, <laughs> right, and Oogie Boogie and gotcha. <laughs> stuff like that. So she's a big, and I'm like, okay, whatever. I, I actually like orange and black myself, being an Orioles fan, so uh, I, I'm okay with that. I'll just pretend it's a baseball tree. Absolutely. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> 
Anyway, I, I uh, my gift, my gift this year for myself is to have you guys around me. Uh, I really appreciate uh, Hardway Wrestling. This year has been great. Uh, as you can see on the screen, we do have a sponsor now. Hardway Wrestling is sponsored by Crown Home Mortgage. Sweet. Now, Scott. Now, Scotty, I'm gonna say this to you. Okay. I don't, know you, I don't know what your credit score is like. Have you ever tried to buy a house? Uh, no, I haven't. Sadly enough. Okay. Brian, have you ever tried to buy a house? Uh, I have, but it's it's, it's it's yeah, it's okay. Been fickle at times. Yeah, Ricky, 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 have you ever tried to buy a house? I bought a house one time, and I lost it. Okay, well, <laughs> congratulations to her. So, uh, <laughs> buying a house can be tough in this economy. Uh, yep. You, you got to have the you got to have the right paperwork. You got to have the right. Uh, the right bank account. You got to have the right down payment. You got to have the right credit score. And I'm telling you right now, Crown Mortgage is going to do all that for you. You got bad credit. They're going to get you on track to get it correct. You got, you want a house. They're going to help you find the house. They have, they have real estate people. They have mortgage people. They have maintenance people that can come in and make the house look the way you want it before you buy it. So please, if you ever need a house or you ever want, are you ever just thinking about not renting again? Because honestly, I've run it before. I've owned one, two. I've owned four houses in my life, right? And I lost two, right? right? All right, you got a you got a higher score than I do. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, all because honestly, all because of Josh Friels at Crown Mortgage. Uh, he sh- actually, I, I did cr- I did re- credit repair for for a little while for him. I learned the ways of how to repair credit, and he can show you how to do it too. And I promise you, my credit has been great for years. And I've never had a problem. But, uh, but honestly, it's because of Crown Mortgage. Uh, they've gotten me into a few houses that I've wanted. And they can do the same thing for you. So if you ever need anything, please reach out to us. Reach out to Crown Mortgage. Uh, and they and Josh would, and his crew will take care of you. So, But we do have a sponsor. Crown Mortgage is now sponsoring Hardway Wrestling. They will be there on Friday, which we'll get to get to later on. But we are here for one reason and one reason only, it's not talk about the fat man. Santa what? Scott. Relax, 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 relax. I'm talking about Santa. <laughs> I'm talking about Santa. We put we uh we we had a lot of great you got a lot of great wrestling this year. Uh we've been around since March. Uh I can't remember half the stuff that went on. Do you guys remember what happened this year? Give, give me a highlight. Give me somebody. Give me a highlight of what you thought this year was with wrestling. Give me go something. Ahead. Give go me ahead something. There's, remember, Scotty. Go ahead there, CM Scotty. Yeah. The only two things I really remember from this year are uh, everything from 2022 into now, uh, the brawl out and everything that transpired after that, and all of Vince McMahon's indiscretions coming out. Uh, oh yeah. All right. I remember. So, like, there's been so much insanity going on that it's just, like, hard to keep track of it all. The purchase of uh, WWE by Endeavor. 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 Yep, yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to stockholders. <laughs> right? And thank God for Triple H running the uh, creative now. Yeah, yeah, that's a big thing that happened this year. Uh, Vince is out. Triple H is in. And the product and has definitely has gotten been better. better. Yeah, It's never been better. It's been so good. It has been so good. We're only talking about bad things for AEW now, right? That's I mean, that's how that's kind of how the everything is going, right? We we all we still love <laughs> AEW, but we can't find good in it right now. I just don't know why, but uh, but that's kind of how this this year is going. Prince uh, Nana, we, uh, <laughs> best honestly. I'm telling you, best you, you ask me, you ask anybody, he's the best answer. So, uh, let's go over uh, just uh, a, a couple notes. Uh, we had a brand new uh, inaugural champion, uh, w- world heavyweight champion uh, crown this year. They, they had the Knight of Champions. It was Seth Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles, and Seth Rollins wins the brand new secondary belt. Do you still guys still feel like it's a secondary belt? No, it's it's Raw's belt. Roman's belt is SmackDown's belt. Gotcha. Okay. Brian, you think it's a secondary belt? Uh, I do at the moment. I don't think it will be that way once CM Punk has it. <laughs> um, 
but but uh, at the moment, yeah, I do. Um, I That's think everybody spoiler. has blown so, so much smoke around the Roman Reigns uh, title reign that that's kind of the belt that everybody looks at right now. Gotcha. That's because Seth gotcha. is there defending it every week. Every week. He's, he's the Orange Cassidy. Yeah. <laughs> WWE. Oh, hey, oh John, 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 John. I don't like Seth Rollins right now. I'm not a big fan of the gimmick, but don't put him in the same boat as Orange <laughs> I'm sorry. I know, I know how much you love pockets. pockets. He is not pockets at all. No. But if we're, if we're talking about the title, we have to bring up – sorry to cut you off. We have to bring up something that none of you guys mentioned. Cody Rhodes won the Royal Rumble this year. That's also true, yeah. yeah. Very true. He did win the Royal Rumble this year. And uh, how did that work out for Cody in the end? <laughs> Still trying to finish that story. Trying He's got to, to restart it. Is it like- – Send him back to AEW with the TNT title. <laughs> is his typewriter out of ink? Is that what's going on? His typewriter's out of ink? He can't finish his story? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's yeah. got a story now. Randy's got a story. You get his story, and you get his story. Somebody finish the damn thing. God, it's like <laughs> my ex-wife couldn't finish anything. I'm just... <laughs> Uh, we had a United States Championship. Uh, the United States Championship held by Austin Theory. Uh, what he lost that title to Rey Mysterio in August, and then Logan, Logan Paul. Paul. Logan, yep. Logan Paul, uh, an influencer, <laughs> Wait, not not PewDiePie, right? Not PewDiePie, not not Mister Mister Beast. Logan Paul wins the United States title, and actually, I don't know if you saw they had the fights this weekend. His brother Jake uh, had a fight, and. Uh, uh, Logan Paul was right behind him wearing that belt. Had that yeah. belt on his shoulder. <laughs> Look at, looking good uh, out there in the world, man. Everybody's like, and, and they mention it every every time he's out there. Oh, there's there's Logan Paul with the United States title. So but, we have. Hey, we, did you, so is something that you know we need to just very briefly talk about is you know the run that Logan Paul has had in the last year uh, of you know. Good match after good match after good match uh, for a guy with, you know, very limited experience who's only been training a short time in the business, and he's this good, and that to the point where WWE is so confident in him that they're going to put a belt on him. Crazy, right? Yep. It, it's insane. So, yeah, I, I'm. It, it's Logan Paul is, like, one of the best things that's happened to WWE this last year. So. Yeah, now would you have said that a year ago, Scotty? No, no, I, I yeah. just went, Logan Paul. What the? What are they trying to do with this? You guy? and I had this discussion in the aisle of Walmart one day about. <laughs> he's like, "What the? What the? What are they doing right now? Why they yep. got all this talent? They got all this talent. They got guys Sydney and catering right now that's more athletic than Logan Paul." Uh, uh-uh. uh. Yeah, what? No. It's like, where did this come again? He's a, he is an athlete. I don't, you know, don't get it twisted. He is an athlete, but I was like, is this guy going to be able to hang in the world of professional wrestling? And the answer was unquestionably yes. And I am, I, I have eaten my words over the last year on that. So that's yeah. not the only thing he's eaten this year. <laughs> <laughs> who, who is he? Who is he faced this year? He faced Roman. Yep. He faced Ricochet. He faced Ray. There was one more match. He didn't he, face Bad Bunny, did he? Uh, no, he faced no, Seth. no, 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 no. That's coming. No, he already faced Seth once. Oh, he fa- is that who? He- oh, he finished. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seth. Yeah, he faced Seth. Yeah. yeah. Uh, four, 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 le- four legit matches. Four yeah. legit matches. And Seth Rollins got the title. I mean, uh, Logan Paul's got the title. I think that is crazy and awesome at the same time. We saw. We saw the emergence of the internet intercontinental champion <laughs> Gunther. Now he got this belt. I believe he had this belt last year. Uh, yeah, I, like right before the year started, something <clears throat> like that. But you know, he really Gunther Gunther has really come into his own this year, and he is still holding that title. And I don't see I don't see anybody taking that off of him anytime soon. Yeah, no. so Jey Uso. I mean, it's it's possible. He said he wants the title that his dad and his uncle once had. Gotcha. So give Jay the push. Is that his story? Guy. Might be. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. All about legacy around here. So 
Uh, yeah, I, I'd be up for that. Uh, yeet. Uh, yeah, he got his Jeep back. Hell yeah. <laughs> he got his Jeep back. All right. Um, Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair won the Women's Championship. And then in May, she lost it to Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then she won it again and lost the EO Sky on a cash in. <laughs> now, I don't like to bring up, I don't like to bring up, the, I don't like to invoke the name of Bianca Belair. I know, I, know, I know what it does. I know what it does to Brian Hardy. His, his neck is tightening up as we speak. His eyes twitching. I think his sideburns <laughs> are getting brighter. Yeah. He's, got, he's on his way to Taco Bell right now. <laughs> so your your kid, your kid on the last show gave us a very hearty answer. Uh, it, who are you waving in? It better be that baby in front. Oh, hey, there Eric, get him in Come here. On. Get him in here. Get Owen in here, man. There he is. The great, the great <laughs> Owen money. So, on, all right, so uh, your kid, Owen, uh, gave the greatest hearty answer ever, and it's a typical hearty answer. We said, what do you think about Bianca Belair? And he said, well, I don't like her, and I don't, I, I, I don't like her, and I don't dislike her. And I was like, you are so a hearty fence person. person. <laughs> <laughs> you guys gotta he's trying to keep from having heat yeah I, I, like, I like trying to keep from having heat i liked it when the year started that's how brian was brian was very well I, you know i don't want to upset anybody but there i have some thoughts blah 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 blah, blah. and by the end of the year it was like fuck your ass like he was like out of fucking control with the shit that was coming out of his mouth so, the problem is I have so many friends that work at WWE that I'm just waiting for someone to see one of these episodes and literally text me and be like, what the so fuck is your I, problem? Way, You're wondering yeah. <laughs> why you don't have a job here. That's why you don't have a job here. So Brian, Brian, just give us one friend that maybe could text you. Just or join me. us on here as a yeah. special guest. I was setting you up, Ricky. I was waiting for you to set up to ask you. Can you get him on? I was going to say, there we go. The, the famous Ricky line, man. Oh boy! Right, you get uh, on the show. <laughs> so uh, we also saw Charlotte Flair came into the year as the women's champion and lost it to who? Mommy, mommy. mommy. Rhea Rip- we we have seen the emergence of Rhea Ripley this year. She mm. has her look has changed from first day to current. She's becoming more goth every day. Uh, she's almost vampire like at times. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing, I'm hearing some rumors now that since Charlotte was just injured, uh, that they could put Bianca up against her at Mania. <laughs> oh, seriously, <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm at. Now Brian's head shaking real, real fast, and Owen's like, oh. <laughs> I'd rather see Becky go up against Mommy than Bianca. Yeah, Actually, I'm not. I'm so sick of Becky and Bianca both, really. So, uh, I. Here, here's what here I think we we give Nia Jax. Oh, geez, we give Nia Jax. We got two big monsters in the ring at WrestleMania, and we put that we we have we put that belt on Nia Jax, <laughs> and she can join the. Or we just wait for the. We just wait for the match everybody's been waiting for. There will be more AEW jumps over WWE this year, and at WrestleMania we have. Nia Jax versus Nyla Rose for the title. Uh, The uh, biggest penis match. I'm in. (laughs) I'm definitely in for that. The match match I'm waiting for out of the uh, Nia Jax is the my whole match. (laughs) All right. It's like all she does, like that's the only thing. Alan, don't type that in your browser. (laughs) <laughs> the only thing like like what brian feels for the 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 vitriol he has for bianca belair is the vitriol i have against nia Jax. i like out of the entire family she is the most untalented uncoordinated like she, she's a freaking she's like she like she's a sofa with legs, like you know, <laughs> like 
No, she has no. And, and so dangerous in the rain. She has hurt so many women. It's a very it, comfortable sofa, by the way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's one of them Ashley sofas. She's, she's not. No, like I, I don't ever want to see them put a title on her. I don't think she is worth it. I think W needs to cut their losses and get rid of her. I don't care. If she's that was Vince's rocks. last transaction. Yeah, I, I call it right now. I call it right now. Rhea Ripley, Sasha Banks, WrestleMania. Let's Ooh. go. Let's go. All right. I would not be That's surprised fair. if she got a phone call after she had went many down. phone calls. I just I saw a meme the other day uh, with um, uh, Charlotte Flair. It said Charlotte Flair was down holding her knee, and then the next picture was Triple H on the phone, and the next picture was Sasha Banks. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I'm 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 abs- I am absolutely for Sasha Banks to come back. Uh, yeah, uh, you had um, the Usos, Jimmy and Jay, who have had those belts, both belts, forever. They lost those belts in April at WrestleMania Night One to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, which kind of had a lackluster, I mean, lackluster run. Yeah, uh, I, I, and the, the tough part, the the best part of stories is the chase. The toughest part about stories is. What to do after the chase, right? Yeah. What does the champion do with the belt? What 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 can we get? What what are they going to give us now? Because the, once the story, that part of the story is complete, the hardest part is yet to come. So uh, once Kevin and, and Sammy won those, Sammy Jesus won those belts. I don't. Uh, I I just it wasn't great. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Right. I think like the chase is important, but I feel like once the chase happens, then you have to like go on this like saga of they have to beat every single team and they have to even beat all these people that people think are like the most credible tag teams while holding those belts. And I think that's where it got lost in translation and then people stopped caring. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, so, uh, in September at payback, the judgment day, Finn Balor, Damian priest took the belt, uh, took the belts off of, of Kevin and Sammy. I actually believe Kevin was hurt at the time. That's why they moved those belts so quick. I think, I uh, can't remember. I thought he was dead after he did that swan time off the railing in the, uh, Pittsburgh yeah. street fight. Oh yeah. Well, that's what it was. It was a still, uh, still city street fight is one day. Yeah. 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 That was. Um, uh, October 7th, uh, a little over a month later, uh, uh, Cody and Jay took those belts off of the Judgment Day, or uh, yeah, off of the Judgment Day at Fast Lane. Uh, and, and, and Owen's happy about that one, <laughs> like one week, I think it was. Owen, why were you happy about that? Are you, are you, are you a Cody Mark or what? Are you, what's... Ye, you already know. Day one, <laughs> day one, yeet. <laughs> so, uh, uh, and then, uh, less than what 50, 12 days later, 10 days there, something like 11, 12 days later, Judgment Day went it back on Raw. Yeah, they gave us the title change on Raw. No, no pay per view close enough. What did, I guess. You, what did, did you, you think was the best moment of 2023 for, yeah, for wrestling? Yeah. Oh boy! Start of the year, the story that was built up all through last year: Will Ospreay versus Kenny Omega. Period. Yeah. <laughs> Wrestle Kingdom eighteen, something like that. Seventeen. You're grounded. You're grounded, grounded. You're grounded yeah. sir. You're grounded. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope Santa kept those receipts. Anyway. <laughs> where were you? Where were you at again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit's the last time we ever asked him on here. Anyway, uh, you got the WWE Women's yeah. Tag Team Champions Championship. And this the list tag is team long. curses. The tag, yeah. This list is long because there's a lot of injuries uh, going on here. So February 27th, uh, Becky Lynch and Grandma Lita won the titles on Raw. God, I forgot about that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, I they, held about them, they, they, they held them for two months. Uh, then they lost them to... Uh, Liv and Raquel Rodriguez. Uh, and then I think Liv, Liv got hurt. Was it Liv got hurt and Trish yeah. joined in? Yeah, I think that's what it was. Somebody got hurt. No, Lita got hurt and Trish joined in for her and Becky. 
Gotcha. And then that's John- when they did the the Becky and Trish story. No, that. Um. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. It was after uh, they lost the belt. She turned. Gotcha. Uh. Then the belts were. Oh, uh, yeah. She turned on. No. She turned on. No. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Trish, Trish turned on Becky. Trish Stratus substituted for injured Lita and took the pin. Rodriguez and Morgan won the titles as a member of SmackDown brand. Yes. So Liv and Liv and Raquel won. Then uh, Trish jumped Lita at the end. Is yeah, that what you yeah. said? Okay. Uh, the belts were vacated due to an injury suffered by Liv Morgan. Uh, then Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler on May 29th. Yeah, May 29th, uh, defeated Chelsea and Sonya Deville uh, for the titles. Uh, I, what did they have? Some sort of four way dance or whatever for the title. Yeah. That's not on you. Yeah. yeah. And Chelsea ended up getting those belts, I believe. Uh, Rhonda and Shayna win the belts and then go on saying that there's not enough, there's no good talent uh, in, um, in WWE women's division. So I guess it pissed everybody off. And then, uh, da, 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 yep, it was a four way. It was a four way match. Uh, then July first, Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan won it back in Money in the Bank. Uh, and sixteen days later, Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville won the titles. Uh, but Sonya ends up like blown out her ACL or MCL or whatever, and then Piper Niven uh, uh, worked her way in uh, from the catering table and said, "Hey." I'm your new partner. <laughs> That's Scotty's do drop. No, <laughs> not mine. <laughs> he does. He does love. He does love himself. Who's the chubby chaser? Me or Scotty? I don't know. Yeah, it's you. you know, the only chubby I like is Nikita Lyons. There you go. Uh, oof. Anyway, uh, NXT Championship. Uh, Braun Breaker was a champion coming to the year uh, most of the year. Then April first, Carmelo Hayes. Wins it at stand, stand and deliver, and then runs it all the way till September first, where Ilya Dragunov takes the title and is the current champion as of now. Except for he might not be pre for the uh, for the foreseeable future. He's injured again, isn't he? Or in, uh, not again? But he's yeah, he injured. ran in the Ridge Holland. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Jesus. So. All right, we're not gonna go through all the AEW Ridge, matches, Ridge is the uh, male version of Naya. Yeah. <laughs> uh, AEW World Champions. Whoa, 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 whoa! You forgot the most important title of them all in NXT, the North American title. I, yeah, I just, I just said I'm not gonna go through all these titles. But you know what? Since you, since you brought pretty dumb. Yeah. Just as dominating, just up. as dominating as mommy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Wesley, Wesley came into the year uh, all the way up until July, holding that title. Then he lost it to Dur- Dirty Dominic Mysterio on July 18th at an NXT uh, at an NXT show. Um, then we had uh, on September 30th, Trick Williams wins the belt. Scotty called it, and then yep. 12 minutes later, Dirty Dom wins it on Raw. Yeah. <laughs> Big zero says. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Trick Mercy. Yes, that's right. Dragon Lee was the special. So, uh, D- Dirty Dom won it on NXT, back on NXT on a couple days later. And then, and December 9th, Dragon Lee won it off of Dom. Uh, I'm going to tell you, I don't know if you watched, um, and I was telling these guys, I've watched it back twice now. Uh, Dominic Mysterio uh, was standing alongside um, uh, what's the dude from the LM? Uh, what, what, uh, we just talked about him the other day. The the dude that just uh, that's in the scrum with uh, with Ray. Oh, Escobar. Uh, Escobar. He yeah, was totally. down at the ring. He was down at the ring, uh, standing, and he looked like it didn't look like Dom, right? He looked like he boo boo face is what it looked yeah. like. Boo boo face Dom. So I think he knew that he was losing that title the next night on their their NXT pay per view. It just was <laughs> not like it was very lackluster for Dom, and it's just like, oh, okay, now I see what's going on here. He's gonna lose that belt. Now that you look, if you go back and look at it, now that you know he lost his belt, it's not Dom. Yeah, it was, it's not Dom. 
I Dom, <laughs> Dom, Dom is clearly upset over uh, over uh, uh, getting ready to lose that belt. Okay, so MJF has spent the entire year uh, as the AEW Heavyweight Champion, and I guess on what is it, the 29th or 30th? When is the what is the world's end? 30th. 30th. So uh, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out if he stays the champion. Uh, does he sign an extension? He's he's done after he's done in Feb or January. Really? The bidding yeah. war of 2024. Does he does he sign an extension or does he has he signed an extension? I think so. I, I have seen speculation from people saying that he has already signed a new contract and they're just keeping it under wraps. I would think you'd yeah. want to get that out there as quick as possible. Well, I think, I mean, they could be using it to play into the story of, you know, him trying to jump to other companies and stuff like that. And why is yeah. my, um, so yeah, I, I don't know, but I mean, I'm from what I've heard, I, again, it's rumors, but the rumor is that he's already signed a new contract. It's just, they're not talking about it for now. So he's, he's a W scumbag. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's going to end up staying with AEW. Uh, I think that's the best place for him. He's going to get the most usage in AEW. I mean, he can be him. Will it, will it be good? That's the next question. Yeah, but well, he can I be mean, him. He I can't do half of those promos in WWE. They're going to like tell him to cut the most of it out because of all the swearing and, and I don't the shit. Know, they, well, I mean, he cut the swearing out. I mean, swearing. I'm sure MJF has done plenty of shows in buildings where you weren't allowed to swear. Or, yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. he, he he I'm sure the guy's a professional. He knows how to, he knows how to work. So um, yeah. with this rain with Triple H, man, the sky's the limit for that guy if he ends up in WWE. If this was Vince, I'd I'd worry. I'd worry that he's going to end up uh, chasing the 7 Eleven 365 six ninety five title with our truth. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, we have uh, AEW Women's World Champion came into the year with Jamie Hader, and boy, do we miss Jamie Hader! Bob. Hell yeah! Oh yeah! yeah. Uh, on May twenty eighth, Tony Storm wins it at double or nothing, and I believe Jamie was hurt then. Yep. Uh, yeah, Jamie was already hurt. Uh, she's been hurt. She had been hurt for a while um, coming in this match. Then on August second, Ricky's girl Hikaru Shida shows up at Dynamite two hundred. And wins the belt off of Tony Storm. And then it was just back and forth between them two, I think. We're going to do a little flippity flop here in a bit. So August 2nd, Hikaru Shooter wins the belt. On August 27th, at uh, the Big Wembley Show, Soraya, Soraya at All In wins the title in a four-women ma four match with uh, Britt Baker, uh, Tony Storm, uh, yeah, Britt Baker, Tony's was it three way or four way? Four Soraya, Britt Baker. Sheena. Yeah, was she in that? She had the title. One, two. Oh, yeah, I guess it was. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, was she? <laughs> uh, and then uh, Soraya wins it uh, on August 27th, uh, October 10th. Hikaru Shida shows up on Dynamite again. She uh, she shows she's just like, Hey, listen, I'm a cable girl, I'm yeah. a cable girl. In an AW world, and she just showed up, showed up and won that belt again. Uh, and then on November 18th, the new timeless Tony Storm wins the belt. Is this not Watch the best iteration? Is this not the best iteration of Tony Storm ever? Yeah, I know it's it's, it's been money. So far, it's about one of the very few things that keeps me interested in AEW right now. Is I'm a little disappointed. Mm -hmm. I'm a, you guys know, I'm a big brawler guy. Big yeah. brawler. Love me some brawlers. I did not order the black and white Tony Storm. Oh, why not? Me neither. And I, and I wanted to get it. I ordered the Captain Insano, but I missed the Tony Storm. Uh, did you really? <laughs> Captain Insano, no, show no mercy. Show no mercy. <laughs> Captain Insano, show no mercy. <laughs> Hello, oh, um, compliments of Captain Insano. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys are on whatnot, the 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 app whatnot. Have you ever been on there, Brian? Okay. So it's a it's an auction no, site. I see. It's an auction. 
Gotcha. You will go. You'll go broke. Anyway, uh, <laughs> they have uh, uh, Pro Wrestling Tees run shows all week long, a couple times a week, and they sell brawlers like all the brawlers that didn't like people didn't buy the boxes, their their mystery boxes or whatever it is, and all the over overrun of uh, of um, uh, of micro brawlers and stuff. And you can get micro brawlers, no lie, for like ten bucks. There Don't will be. I'm not lying, bro. You see in my wall. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm, I like uh, so. If you buy a micro brawler, it's like fourteen bucks or fifteen bucks. Then shipping, so it's about twenty bucks for a micro brawler if you just order it outright. You can get micro brawlers out there because after a while, they still nobody. They just they just sit there. They over order whatever. I got gang grill for like two bucks. <laughs> That's awesome. You can't. I mean, uh, awesome. a Skinner. I mean, nobody wants a Skinner, but yeah. damn, Skinner for five bucks, I take. I'll it. take the Skinner. I Steve Kern. Yeah, <laughs> Steve Kern. That's right, Steve Kern. Yeah. So, um, who else was Steve Kern? Fabulous, uh, fabulous one. Yeah. Uh, there's, an, there's another. Wasn't he another one? Was there another one? He was a uh, Skinner, a uh, fabulous one. Let me ask your kid. Um, <laughs> Steve, Steve Kern was also a doink for a little bit. Thank you. There you go. There he was. A, he uh, was one of the I, many doinks. <laughs> one, of, mm-hmm. one of the many doinks. So. Uh, that I did not know. I did not realize Steve Kern was under the doink outfit. That's interesting. Why? Why? Yeah, him, why I, Matt Bourne, Ray Apollo, Bob Star. Uh, yeah. So the reason why I remember that right now is because Bob and I were having that discussion at the, the ATCW show. <laughs> so love, love Bob. I can't, we're getting Bob on here this year. Uh, yeah. We're going to need about six hours of runtime because Bob is going to have one story after one story <laughs> after one. They're just going to run into each other. So you're yep. going to have to make sure he comes. Just have him drive to my house because he doesn't know how to click any of these buttons. Yeah, 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 I yeah, yeah, barely yeah, know yeah, how to yeah, click. Yeah, any he told me buttons, he doesn't know. So. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Super excited. Yeah. Super excited. We're going to get Bob on here. Uh, we have the AEW All Atlantic Championship. Do you guys remember what it was called before? It was All Atlantic? Was it called something else? International Championship. International, <clears throat> three ninety five, six seventy. <laughs> the, the almost intercontinental title. Seventy West. Yeah. Uh, Orange Cassidy held onto this belt most of the year. Uh, wrestled about a thousand matches. This guy, honestly, I know Scotty. You're not a big fan of Orange Cassidy. Uh, uh, but I, I'm gonna tell you the the, the gimmick. I I I, en- <laughs> I enjoy the gimmick. I you, enjoy no, the gimmick. No, the only reason you enjoy the gimmick is because you like playing pocket pool with yourself. Hey, listen, listen. Nobody does me like me. You know what I'm saying? Nobody <laughs> <laughs> does me like me. Cover that boy's ears. Cover that boy's ears. God darn it! Hey, virginity rock. Stop, virginity rock. <laughs> No, I read that. I read that on your thing. I didn't bring it up. I didn't bring it up. My kid had those same shorts. Oh, man. My, my kid, I, I had to order. We my, my kid, I, I, awful bro. Oh, you get getting echo? Am I getting echo? We were at a Christmas okay. We were at a Christmas event the other night, and I look over. All the kids are wearing, like, nice holiday clothes and this and that, all dressed nicely and shit. And then my other kid, a year older than Owen, Alex, I turn and look over, and there's a freaking hoodie on. Virginity rocks really big on the hoodie. I'm like, what the <laughs> flying fuck are you wearing? Like, <laughs> I never got it. My my kid would be wearing that out to a Tinder date. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. If I, when I was his age, I would probably wear the hoodie that says virginity sucks. <laughs> right, it's different, right? I, and I think, listen, don't let him fool you, Brian. These kids are smart. <laughs> They'd be wearing that out there, but they know what that means. They like, hey, listen. Oh, it's, it's total reverse psychology. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Virginity rocks, but just in case it doesn't, here I am. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, Orange Cassidy came into the year most of the year, 100%, basically 100% of the year, as the international I 95 champion. Uh, September 3rd, John Moxley beats him at all out. Uh, and then and on uh, 18, 17 days later, Ray Phoenix 
uh, knocks the absolute dog shit out of John Moxley, and Rick Knox fucks uh, John and helps him uh, win this. Win this <laughs> Ray Phoenix held his belt. <laughs> Ray Phoenix held, held his belt until his uh, till his green card ran out, and then he lost it back October second to Orange Cassidy. <laughs> I mean, that pretty much summed up the year right there, boys. <laughs> oh my have you God. seen Have you seen Ray Phoenix? <laughs> no, you have not seen Ray Phoenix. He's got him and, issues. Him and Pac must share the same green card. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I haven't seen either one of them in a while. I think Pent is the only one with a legit one. Actually, Pac 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 is is like uh, yeah I'm not doing that. Call me when you got something better for me. I'm, <laughs> I'm not Miro. <laughs> I'm not Miro. <laughs> so uh, all right, uh, AEW World Tag Champions uh, Championship. Uh, we came into the year into January, not very long into the year. Uh, the acclaimed holding the belt, uh, the the belts. February eighth, the guns, Austin Gun and Colton Gun, the ass boys, guns up. <laughs> They win it on Ch Dynamite Championship Fight Night. Uh, then August 5th, uh, FTR, FTR, uh, FT FTR wins it on Dynamite in a title versus career match. God. I I I'll see. That was, uh, that was right at the same point that FTR's contract was up, so we didn't know. Honestly, we didn't yeah. know what they were going to do, right? So, uh, And then like five days before... Uh, the title versus career match, they signed a five year extension or something, so kind of gave it away then. So, um, then October 7th, uh, Big Bill and Ricky starts win it on a collusion. Uh, how do we feel about <laughs> thank you, Owen? I don't even have to go into it. How do we feel about uh, Big Bill and uh, Rocky, Rocky, uh, the, the chosen one? Um, Diet me, diet Maya via. Diet Maya via. Uh, actually, Ricky Starks is a good wrestler. Uh, I just, I don't know. He's he's not Enzo, you know. What I'm saying he's not, an, he's not Enzo. I don't know. If we exactly. Can, yeah. <laughs> how do we feel? How do we feel so far about their uh, their title run? Yeah. yeah. This is the I, longest. I think they should go hang out with ever. Bianca Belair and figure out something else to do for a fucking living. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I I love Bill. I love Big Bill's size. Uh, I hate the name. I think the name is very, very it, special. Yeah. Needs. It's it's uh, very it's very nineties reminiscent because the only thing I can think of when I hear it is Bill Clinton, Big Bill Clinton. So you know, I just are you saying are you saying Cass has a crooked penis? Is that what you're yeah. saying? <laughs> <laughs> And when someone says the name Big Bill to me, instantly my mind goes to like Buffalo Bill, like from from Silence of the Lambs. Oh <laughs> yeah, I'd fuck me. Uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, yeah. between between Buffalo Bill and Rocky Maivia as the tag champs, it doesn't do very much for Give me. Give it back, my precious. The only the only Bill I can think of is Big Bill Demont. That's the only big bill uh, that I'll ever know. <laughs> I, really got a, I, I got a great Bill DeMott story, and everybody craps on Bill DeMott all the time, and I got nothing but respect for him. So uh, I'll leave it at that. Read my book. <laughs> there was a tag team that was um, millions <laughs> of dollars and millions of dollars, um, and there's a story in that book, um, and it gives my thoughts on uh, – Bill and uh, gives my thoughts on that tag team. So prime time players. Uh, I didn't. I didn't say that. I just said there's oh, a I tag team. Saying, you were you millions of dollars though. So. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> you know. So uh, we guys have are a bunch AEW of jackasses. World, the AEW World Trios Championship uh, titles uh, coming into the year. It was a death triangle uh, uh, pack. Penta El Zero Maria and Ray Phoenix. Uh, January 11th, the Elite Omega, uh, Matt Jackson and Nick Jackson uh, won the titles on uh, on Dynamite. Uh, yeah, it was their best of seven. I think they give Scotty the drizzling Taco oh, Bell shits. God. Yeah. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, March 5th, the House of Black. Like you guys. Huh? Go ahead. I was going to say, just to let you guys know, 
Taco Bell now has a machine <laughs> where you literally <laughs> – where you <laughs> – where you our can next, literally take the sponsor off of the stuff, bro. <laughs> you can what? Wait, just I, oh no, you no, can, no, sir, no, you can take the I need you to reel it in, reel it in. <laughs> Brian, well, it they through. have these five dollar boxes. They have these five dollar boxes. So after you get a good workout at the gym, man, and you're like just done, 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 done. You have to refuel, so you go in. You just they have this kiosk, and you just start hitting the buttons. I fucking hate beans. I hate beans as much as I hate Bianca Belair, right? So anytime <laughs> somebody wants to put beans on something, I'm like, fuck. So there's a minus button now. I'm learning a little bit about technology. You can minus this shit, and then I can put like extra meat and extra cheese on there, bro. By the time I am ready to come home, bro, I'm ready to rip that ass, boy. Like that. <laughs> Taco Bell is our next sponsor. Yeah, uh, I, I, uh, there, there is a, there is a, uh, there's a, there, a Brian about. Hardy I hate, box. I'm with you, Brian. Brian, I hate beans too. Now, chili, I can eat oh, beans. Man. That it's different. But like beans, like if I don't, I go to Chipotle. I don't get beans. Keep your beans away from my shit. Right, I hate beans. There is a, Same. there's a, there is a, yep. there's a restaurant down not too far from me in Waynesboro, and I'm not going to name them because I. Cafe something bullshit Ishmael, whatever. They they uh, I always get chicken, rice, sour cream. That's it. I'm simple. That's all I want. Chicken, rice, sour. If I come from the gym, I want chicken, rice. That's it. That's it. I don't know if they pre-make their rice, but they got these black beans, these little tiny black beans. And I Never fails. Mm-hmm. I always say no beans. Do caprende. Do no beans. No beans. Yeah. <laughs> they get it wrong every fucking time. It drives me absolutely crazy. So I get here's what these pricks did. I get home. There's rice. I'm like, oh, chicken on top. Man, I believe it's perfect. And I I just took my fork. I was like, mm, fork in. I move it. Those bastards put them underneath. <laughs> That was, I mean, yeah. that was that was two years ago. <laughs> I never, I never been back. Yep. I never <laughs> back. I'm not a bean guy. Not a bean guy. <laughs> Hate him. Okay, uh, uh, where are we at? All right, so the House of Black win uh, August 5th win the titles, triple triple uh, trios titles. Trios. And August 27th, Billy Gunn and the acclaimed. They win it back in a no holds barred match at all in Wembley. Uh, the TNT Championship. Here we go. Ooh, this <laughs> is longer than my, my sixty inch screen here. Uh, Jan- uh, Samoa Joe came into the year as TN- TNT champion. January fourth, Darby Allen. Uh, February seventh, Joe wins it back in a no holds barred no holds barred match on Dynamite. August fifth, Wardlow wins it at Revolution. August eighth. Powerhouse Hob takes it right back off of Wardlow. Fuck. Okay. Um, uh, August 19th, Wardlow, uh, yeah, August 19th, win, uh, Wardlow wins it back. I'll get my belt back. Uh, off of Wardlow. January 17th, uh, Luchasaurus. Uh, what do they call Luchasaurus now? What is his? Kill uh, switch. Kill switch. Kill switch. Is, stupid. Uh, January, uh, June 17th, Luchasaurus wins it. And then there was a triple threat match with Darby Allen and Christian Cage is your current TNT champion. Best champion for TNT yet. Yep. Yeah. By now, far. Can, can I can I can I stop you? Most of this AEW stuff, all right, all these title switches and different stuff. All we have to really say for all of this is January 4th, Tony smokes a lot of crack. Gives us a bad finish. Uh, February 8th, Tony smokes a lot more crack. Gives us another bad finish. You know, like, that's all we've got to say about every one of these AEW title things other than MJF, who's held the damn belt the whole year. Like, you know, that's all you got to say. Just Tony smokes a lot of crack and boom. Hey, listen, crack crack is a cheaper version of cocaine, I think. So <laughs> whoever saves him some money. All right. Uh, AEW TBS champion, Jade Cargill held it for like 400 and some plus days or 500 and some plus days. Uh, and then all of a sudden, 
on May 28th, Chris Statlander shows up and says, Give me that! and takes that belt off of her. And we haven't seen Jay Cargill since. Yep. Uh, and as of November 18th, Julia Hart uh, took her hat off. And <laughs> she is now the November 18th, uh, as of November 18th, at Full Gear. They won it in a three main match with Sky Blue. Julia Hart. Her and Sky Blue are uh, teamed up now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they're taking on Abaddon and uh, Thunder Rosa. She yeah. finally came back last night. Yeah, I did see the Thunder Rosa came back last night. Finally. I mean, we saw her go into Tony's office, what, back in like... Uh, Before they announced, when they were prepping for collusion to start. Yeah. Uh, she hit her head <laughs> under the desk and never came out. Yeah. <laughs> Short uh, desk. F FTW championship. Uh, Hook uh, Hook was holding the title coming in. Lost it to Jack Jungle Boy Perry. And then uh, at all in, Hook won it again. And we haven't seen Jack Perry since. So, um, yeah. There we go. Yeah. So. Fuck Jack Perry. He costs us CM Punk. <laughs> yeah, he didn't actually, we're gonna, we are going to get a better version of CM Punk, I believe. So. Uh, that you I, have, I think so too. Huh? Jack Perry, I'm like, what's that? Uh, drive through attendant. <laughs> well, he's <laughs> right, right now. He's finishing his shift at the at the Jubilee. So, <laughs> all right. Well, let's get into our let's get into our year end awards. Uh, we have multiple multiple uh, um, multiple categories here. So first, we are going to go with. Oh shit! I hit the wrong button. Hold on. <laughs> okay, we don't need that. Okay, no, okay. Ooh. Virginity rocks. Um, we are going into the AEW women's heavy or women's top, uh, top top woman of the year. Uh, so uh, some of the some of the people on here we had Julia Hart, we had Soraya, we had Tony Storm, uh, Jade Cargill, uh, had Hakaro Shida. Uh, Athena, Chris Statlin, Willow, and Sky Blue. Now, uh, do you guys remember who you picked? Tony Storm. You picked Tony Storm. I think. Ryan, yeah, you, I'm pretty sure. You voted all. You didn't vote it's because Bianca wasn't on there. I didn't. <laughs> well, I was gonna say um, there, there's way you just named way too many good talents. Yeah. So, well, so it's they, these lists are tough. These lists are tough to, to put out there. Some of these were added in. Uh, Owen, did you vote on any of these? I picked Tony Storm. You picked Tony Storm. Of course Scotty? you did. Of course you did. Virginity <laughs> Rock. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember right, I picked Sky Blue. Uh, Sky and Blue. Not, just for, not just for the ass. <laughs> well, this year's... Hardway Wrestling AEW <laughs> Women's Champion of the Year is Timeless Tony Storm, AEW Women's Wrestler of the Year. Congratulations, Tony Storm. Uh, if you could just send me or DM me your address, I will send you your award. <laughs> Maybe deliver it in person. Who knows? <laughs> uh, it, just let me know when Juice is at home. Uh, congratulations, Tony Storm. She's been doing great this year, honestly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. did, this, uh, this category, um, there were multiple people who I came to see how many people voted. Anyway, uh, Sky Blue was uh, second. Tony Storm ran away with this by 61%. So congratulations yeah. to uh, Tony, Tony Storm. Uh, we're going to go with our AE. No, we're going to go with our WWE Women's Champion. Uh, let me bring this back up. This is how hard I thought it was going to be. Uh, okay, there it is. Uh, AEW, uh, I'm sorry, WWE Women's Champion, you had uh, people in this category like Rhea Ripley, Charlotte Flair, Bian Bianca Belair, which it looked like, <laughs> it looked like Brian voted for, uh, Chelsea Green, <laughs> Becky Lynch, and uh, nobody added any. So, uh, do you guys remember who you picked? Uh... Shit, where's the <laughs> tell you who I wouldn't have picked? Yeah, <laughs> you can't vote now, Ricky. Stop. No, I'm trying to go back and look at the list again. Oh, I picked Rhea. Yeah, oh, you picked Rhea. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I will, <laughs> all right, so congratulations to 
Mami, WWE Women's Wrestler of the Year for for Hardway Wrestling. Uh, again, that was deserves, a runaway. Deserves yeah. every accolade. I even got a really good picture of her for you guys. Uh, uh, try to keep it above the waist if you could. Uh, <laughs> yeah. She's been doing great work for the women. Uh, it's good. It's like it's. She's kind of like Gunther. When this belt comes off of her, man, it is not going to be worth a shit. Yeah, I, I don't know who they're going to put this belt on. This women's belt on. It's gonna. It's gonna do what Rhea has done over the last almost year now. So, um, congratulations to her. And oh, okay, look at that. Okay, uh, let's go to. Um, more polls. Uh, 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 let's go to the men's <laughs> men's WWE men's uh, wrestler, uh, Hardway wrestler of the year. You had guys like Seth Rollins, uh, Gunther, Dominic Mysterio, Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns, and somebody picked an other. I don't know who the other was. Let's see who. Uh, somebody just picked other. Stupid. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, this year's. Men's, uh, shit, where'd it go? Did I lose it? Yeah, the, this year's men's Hardway Wrestling Champion of the Year, Men's Wrestler of the Year is Gunther. Gunther, this was a runaway too. Again, yep. same, same category, same category as as Rhea. This guy, once his belt comes over him, man, I do not know what they're gonna do. I really don't. I really don't. I, It'll I mean, go back to being irrelevant like it was before he started winning. Yeah. With it. All right. Let's get back. I'm going back, back. Okay. Yes. Who's back, back, back? Yeah. All right. Uh, men's AEW men's Harway Wrestling Wrestler of the Year. Guys in this category Chris Jericho, Kenny Omega, CM Punk. MJF, Orange Cassidy. Oh, wait, there's a bunch more. Uh, Brian Danderson, John Moxley. Uh, somebody put uh, write ins by Nikki Lee, uh, Swerve Strickland, and Kevin Erickson typed in Christian Cage. Guys, this was this this was absolutely a runaway. Yeah, absolutely a runaway. Uh, so this year's Hardway Wrestling Men's AEW Wrestler of the Year is none other than. Our scumbag, MJF. Again, this is another guy, man. Another guy. Yes, give it, give it up, friend. Yeah, give it up, friend. Yeah. And see, that's that's the tough because, yeah, okay, he wasn't, you know, he was injured a good bit of the time when he was there, but you know, between CM Punk and MJF, it's hard it, for me. It was hard to pick, but. You know, MJF deserves all the credit and all the accolades in the world. He has been. Again, one of the few bright spots in AEW that's actually kept me interested and kept me watching. Yeah. Uh, other than that, yeah, there's very – and now that Punk's gone, there's very little other than MJF and Tony Storm to keep me going on that show. Yeah. Um, I, I judge this as who brings more eyes to the product. I did not vote for MJF. I, I think MJF is great, but I voted the guy who I thought – brought more eyes to the product and that was cm punk yeah yeah just, is love him or hate him he brought <laughs> eyes to the product he's still one of their number he's probably still their number one shirt seller uh he is the number one and number three shirt seller in wwe right now right with that hell freezes freezes over shirt like he's i have no i there's no words for cm punk but the guy is uh, he's he's billion dollar Phil, right? Yeah, you need to know he's billion dollar Phil. Merch machine. Yeah, merch, merch machine. Yeah, ab absolutely, he is a merch machine, man. Uh, I'm kind of hoping they bring back some of the old shirts he had. Yes, same. Um, did we get them all? Uh, oh no, we did not get them all. Year. Yeah, <laughs> we had the guest of the year. So who was some of our guests of the year? We had. The Hardy Boys. Hardy Boys. <laughs> we got Owen Hardy. We had Brian Hardy. We can't really put uh there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Tra trademark. Without the DUIs. <laughs> he said without the DUIs. 
<laughs> uh, we had who? Who do we have? Did I, Shocky. Did, I, did I put a poll up for this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I gotta bring it back up here. We had Chucky. We had uh, 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 Deathmatch. Yeah, yeah, give, give him to us. We had Deathmatch Daddy. We had uh, Mike. Raddick. Yeah, Mike Raddick. Oh, yeah, and Mike we had, Raddick. Yep. We had H Hunter Cole. Hunter. Yep, Hunter Cole. Yep, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had Frosty. And Frosty. Oh, yeah. yeah. Frosty Rob Wells. Yeah. He just uh, he just had a tables match last night. Oh, I'm bet How many did he go through? I don't know. I think one of them was a buffet table that they, they couldn't even get him away from. <laughs> I, I love. I actually I love both of them. Uh, Steve and Rob are good dudes. Uh, but I tell you what, I yeah. did. Uh, I did their. Uh, I did their. Um, their podcast or their their video uh, YouTube, um, indie rewind. And man, they made me look like a munchkin. <laughs> they really made me look like a child <laughs> in between them two, two, 300 pounds. One dude, 300 pounds on one side, one dude, 375 on my left. I'm like, good, I'm, I'm in between uh, typhoon and, and earthquake. earthquake. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> You're in between the McGuire twins. Yeah, Jesus, the Bass Brothers. Yeah, they could have ate me if they wanted to. All right, so uh, and, and they didn't never left. There wouldn't have been a. There wouldn't have been anything left. Yeah, they ate the bones too. So, all right, this year's guest of the year. Uh, this was. Uh, I don't know. I came. I came see the poll for some reason. But here's our guest of the year. It is Brian Hardy. Is our is our Hardway Wrestling guest of the year? Congratulations, <laughs> Brian Hardy. A shirtless Brian Hardy. I had to, I had to put words over your nipples. <laughs> we're not trying to you know, keep a sponsor here. So, uh, congratulations to the second generation sensation, Brian Hardy. Do we really do appreciate you coming on here, man? Uh, yeah. Best I, I chic impression ever. ever. Best chic impression you, ever. I hate that you got a a, a, a real job. She, it, yeah. it's she, ruined it's ruined our hard way wrestling in a lot of ways it, 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 believe really. me it's it's a, it's a weird feeling for me man so it's it's weird i can't believe you're working not forever you have a sugar mom you have a sugar <laughs> not for long <laughs> you have a sugar mom at home and you know i do Okay. I do. I my thing is I just don't want these kids burning the place down while I'm gone. So yeah. <laughs> well uh, Owen's got some really bad lighting in his room, so that's not the problem. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, boys. Well, you know what? That's gonna be the end of our Christmas show. We that's good. <laughs> you guys are laughing. That's going to be the end of our Christmas show, and uh we're not done, right? We're gonna finish this off with a song. Right, oh, so I I I <laughs> sat and we're, they're all laughing. Everyone they're laughing now because I oh. to them. They had not <laughs> seen it up until this part, right? So we're gonna sing the twelve yeah, days, phone. the twelve days a hard way. <laughs> right, so you guys know your part. You guys know your part. Yeah, you your part I'll it the first time through. Why are nine and ten the same? Oh, because it's a hat. All right, never mind. I get it. Okay, get it. all right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, when we get to your part, I'll do it the first time through. When we come back through the second time, then you hit it. Okay? You guys uh, get it? Oh, all right. God. The 12 hard ways of Christmas. Oh, God. On the first day of hard way, wrestling gave to me three guys that need therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I did bring an outing last night, so it's a little difficult right now. <laughs> On the second day of hard way, wrestling gave to me two overweight Jerichos and three guys that need therapy. <laughs> Ding. On the third day of hard way, wrestling gave to me three fuck your ass, two overweight Jerichos and three guys that need therapy. <laughs> On the fourth day of oh, hard God. way, wrestling gave to me four Conan. <laughs> One, no, four, three, three, and two. I'll fuck your ass. 
<laughs> Two, oh boy, Jared goes, and three guys that need therapy. Oh, God damn it. Um, <laughs> on their fifth no, Scotty, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. On the fifth day of hard way, yeah. wrestling gave to me five biting young bucks. <laughs> Four, Conan. <laughs> Three, I fuck your ass. Two, overweight Jojos, <laughs> and three guys they need therapy. Oh, On God. the sixth day of hard way, wrestling gave to me six. Moxley's bleeding. Five biting young bucks. Four, Conan. Three, I fuck your ass. <laughs> On the seventh day of hard way, wrestling came to me. Seven hugs from Tony, six moxies bleeding, five fighting young bucks, four Conan, five. Nope. Three. three. I fuck your ass. On the eighth day of Harway, wrestling gave to me eight wrestlers released. <laughs> Seven hugs to Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Six moxie bleeding, five biting young bucks, four Conan, three. <laughs> I fuck your ass. <laughs> Two overweight Jericho's and three guys in need therapy. <laughs> oh god, this <laughs> On the ninth, these rolls. On the ninth day of hard way, <laughs> wrestling gave to me nine punk. You're fired. <laughs> Eight wrestlers released. Seven oh. hugs from Tony. Six he's bleeding. Five biting young bug. Four. On it. Three. I fuck your ass. And two overweight Jericho's and three guys that need therapy. Uh, I'm fucking dying. <laughs> I'm gonna hear this shit in my head when I go to work tonight. Yeah. <laughs> On the tenth day of hard way, uh, wrestling gave to me <laughs> ten punks. You're hired. Nine punks. You're fired. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Seven hugs from Tony, six moxies bleeding, five biting young bucks, four, Conan, three, I fuck your ass, two, overweight Jericho's, and three guys in need therapy. God damn it. On the 11th. Eight, on the eleventh day of hard way, wrestling came to me. Eleven nanas dancing. <laughs> ten punk, you're hired. Eleven, uh, ten, nine punk, you're fired. Eight wrestlers released. Seven hugs from Tony. Six moxies bleeding. Five biting young bucks. Four Conan. Three. I fuck your ass, Bianca. <laughs> Two overweight Jerichos and three guys in need therapy. <laughs> On the 12th day of hard way, wrestling gave to me 12 NDAs, 11, 11 nanas dancing. <laughs> 10, 10 punk, you're hired. 9 punk, you're fired. Eight punches released, seven hugs from Tony, six moxies bleeding, five biting young bugs, <laughs> four, Conan, three, I fuck your ass, I'll talk in your blonde jabroni bitch, I'm so sick of this money, fuck you, Christmas, everybody, <laughs> two of Ray Jericho's and Three guys that need therapy. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas everybody. <laughs> okay. Jason.